Despite research done by wildlife biologists all over the world, many physiological processes in wild animals are still not well understood. One of the researchers pushing back the boundaries of our knowledge in this field is Dominic McCafferty. Well, here at the University of Glasgow, we use thermal imaging to look at the thermal biology of uh, animals, principally uh, mammals and birds. What we're interested in doing is to use this as a way of measuring the, uh, the metabolic rate of the, the animals. This is uh, an example of a thermal image that's been taken of a harbour seal um, as it hauls out uh, ashore. We're interested in this because this is a, an animal which is molting and they come ashore to, to molt to renew the hair each year. Uh, and what they need to do is to bring their skin temperature up uh, to much uh, warmer temperatures, to higher temperatures. So we can see the image here of the, of the animal as it hauls out um, from 5 minutes uh, through to 25 minutes, right up to 65 minutes. And so uh, as the animal has just emerged from the water, it's almost um, at the same temperature as the background. But as it warms and as it dries, you can see these distinctive thermal patterns as it starts to uh, circulate blood to the, to the surface of the animal. There are a number of studies where you are required to, to mark animals so that you can follow the same individual for a period of time. Um, and uh, for grey seals and other species of seals, you'll put a, a small uh, tag uh, in, the, in the hind flipper of the animal to identify that as, a, as an individual. And many people are concerned about marking animals and what impact that might have on the animals themselves. So we used thermal imaging to monitor um, the tag site and we were able to show um, that uh, there was a small increase in temperature as the animal started to heal and repair the tissue but by the time it was ready to go to sea um, the temperature had uh, dropped back down to uh, normal levels um, giving us a good indication that there wasn't any uh, obvious long-term impact of, um, uh, of, of tagging and there appeared to be no uh, obvious tissue damage uh, around the tag site. So that's a very good example of how we can use thermal imaging uh, as a way of monitoring uh, the health of uh, wild animal uh, populations. We've been using the, the FLIR E300 um, in, the, in the field, it's highly portable and of course the great advantage is that we don't need to catch animals to be able to take these measurements, um, so the non-invasive aspect of thermography is really essential for uh, this type of work. But the FLIR E300 thermal imaging camera is not exclusively used in the field. It sees a lot of use in the lab as well, such as with this research into enhanced zebra finch cages by Hilary Ann Dalton. There's an enriched or a complex environment cage and there's also the bare and just standard laboratory cage. The standard laboratory cage just has a feeder, drinker, the two perches. The enriched one, there's a number of different enrichment features. There's a sand bath for them to run their feathers through. There's a suspended colorful twine for them to pack and redirect pecks that they might deliver to their cage mate. And we're thinking that this enriched environment will give the birds a better quality of life. They'll be less um, they'll be better able to handle stress. I'm using the thermal imaging as a physiological measure of their stress. Um, so seeing if there's an increase in the body temperature when they're stressed and their time to recover afterwards by looking at the, thermo the, the rise in body temperature and then a time for it to return to normal. Um, my experience is, is I do see very accurate measurements of it. The software's been very easy for me to use. I can enlarge the pictures and get a really accurate reading, even just if I want to take an average of head, the head or even the eyes. I can even see as small as uh, the small zebra finch legs, which are barely bigger than a needle. So it's, it's been great and it's very accurate and it's, it's very easy to use.